guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sean, and if you're returning, then welcome back. Today is gonna be a bit of a different uh, video for me because I'm gonna be sharing with you my craft space, which I'm so excited to be sharing with you. Just for those of you who are new to the channel, me and my husband, Brett, we live in Wales and we moved here in December. So we've not been in the house for too long. And so, I would say it's been a few weeks since I kind of created my craft room. And so I thought I'd share with you what it looks like. I just thought it'd be a really good idea to document it. So then in years to come when my craft space grows, I can see what it looked like. So let's get into it. So welcome to the craft room. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. As you will have seen, it was actually blue before I came into this room. I did actually pick the room that needed painting. Never mind. But yeah, I painted this room white. It took me two days to paint it. And I just really wanted a clean, fresh kind of vibe for in here. And it really was how I imagined it. And it's so nice to finally have it all come together. And originally I was going to have a craft room and an office, but I really like the idea of working amongst my craft stuff, my cross stitching pieces. And I really just really like this room. It has a really good feel and yeah, I really enjoy working in here. So I'm gonna start with this calyx. So I bought this calyx from Ikea. We ordered this in late December and it did actually take about two months to arrive with COVID and everything. But I really wanted this calyx because it's kind of what I imagined. And um, we were quite limited on the, the boxes. So these boxes here, there was a lot of stuff that was actually out of stock, but I was really, really happy with what was available as I actually feel it goes with the carpet really well, the color of the carpet. So before we moved in, this carpet was actually brand new or newish, I think it was about three months old. So I didn't have to do anything with that. All I did was paint the walls. And so I really wanted this white feel. Um, it's what I envisaged and I went for the four by three or you can stand it up as well so that it's a three by four. Then I have just my Lowry stand here. It's a really good space just to keep it when I'm not using it. I was going to get a lamp, a tall floor standing lamp, but I have actually put some light in behind the calyx, which I'll show you shortly. So on the top here, we just have this little jewelry um, holder. I did actually used to make jewelry and sell it. Um, so I just have this now as a bit more of a display. Then we have my little Let's Stay Home, which you will have seen. Uh, and yeah, so this just stays here. Obviously it's where I work, so I just think it's pretty cute. Then we have this little decoration lamp, which does actually light up. Then we have my little sewing machine, which um, I just like to have here on display and it actually shows in my webcam on work. So it is quite a talking point, which is quite good. And then we have my little January sample of the month by Country Cottage Needleworks. Yes, we are in March and it is still up. Then we have one of my favorite Rendell designs, Sweet Tweet. Um, kitted by Bothy Threads and I got this professionally framed before we moved in and this was actually um, the first time it was displayed so I absolutely love this. It is such a centerpiece at the moment. However, the plan is that I will stick all of my cross stitching up here that I don't want in the house. So I am going to be creating kind of a cross stitching wall here which I'm really, really excited for. Then over here, I keep all of my cross stitching. So this is just a um, art bag. So it's just a big art bag. And I just keep 
most of my projects in there. So I have all of my mum pro my project bags that my mum uh, made for me. So I tend to keep my big project bags in there. And then we have my big massive frame, which again, my mum made an amazing little cover for it. So this is kind of like where I keep all of my cross stitching projects. Then here we have this rose tree. And an interesting fact is that it's actually from my wedding. So we had eight of these, I think it was up the aisle and so I decided that I wanted to keep one. One went to my mum and we sold the rest and my mum actually created the little ribbon and the white uh, covering and put the marbles in because it was just like a plain dark green um, plant pot thing and so she covered that for my wedding and I just kept it so it's super cute and there is also lights in there then we move on to my curtains and I really envisaged having a curtain pole with crystals at the end so that's what we went for and then I just bought these gorgeous um, like linen type of curtains which are really nice um, it's not like I sleep in here so I need to shut the curtains to keep the light out it is just my workspace so these work really well then on the windowsill we just have a few little things that mean quite a lot to me and they are little gifts that people have bought me so this is a picture frame that my sister bought me and my husband and it is actually a silhouette of our wedding song that we danced to then we have this little cat that my cousin bought me and she also bought me this little plaque which says my humans have tied the knot and that was a little um wedding gift then we have this Sisters of Forever, which my sister bought me. And we have Cat's Leaf Paw Prints on Your Heart, which again was a gift. And also we have the little Rendell Designs Hedgehog um, Teddy Bear. Then we have this l shape desk. And as I mentioned, I was actually going to have two separate areas. So one which was working and one which was craft room. But like I said, I wanted to be in the same, I wanted to have them in the same room. So here over on the right is where I work every day. And then we just have this adjoining table, which both are from Ikea. And this is basically where I do all my craft stuff. So um, it's really nice having the L shape and I think it really fits well with the room as well. And on the floor, we do have a carpet protector. So all I do is spin the chair and I'm already in my craft area, ready to make things. So yeah, it's a really good size, really good desk, um, really affordable as well. The chair we've had for a long time, I'm not really sure where that is. And then just above, we have another Randall Designs, which is the bath time. And again, this was professionally framed and I didn't put this up in any house, or oh, in the last house, sorry, until we moved. And so I just think it really fits well, the black with the black um, decor. Then we have this really handy cupboard, which I'm currently storing a lot of things that I don't really need access to every day but I need to have in the room. So there's just lots of different boxes full of jewelry making, crafts, um, cross stitching, some storage boxes. And it's also where I keep all of my finished cross stitching pieces that need to be framed. So I just have them hanging up on this pole. And this is actually the color that the room was before. And I do need to paint it, but I couldn't be bothered. So it is something that I probably will do eventually, but no one sees it and I don't really see it either. So yes, yeah, so I just have these up hanging. Uh, so every time I finish something, I just hang it up in here. And then further into here, we've just got these storage drawers. In the top one, we just have some um, acrylic yarn. Then in this one, we have pens and paints and tapes, and it's just really a craft drawer. Then in this next one, we just have some lights. So these are actually curtain lights, which I would actually like to put up in this room eventually. Then we have a box full of um, notepads. Yep, definitely don't need any more notepads. Um, then in we in here we have 
So um, cross stitching patterns that I have finished and then we have just more cross stitching. Um, is it going to open yet? Yeah, some cross stitching stuff, so frames, etc. And just more cross stitching below. And it's also a place where I just keep everything that I possibly need. Then we have some wrapping paper, bags. Then we have some frames here that I've bought for my cross stitching. We have some mount as well. And then we have some magazines here, which has some cross stitching in as well. One thing I really wanted for this room was to have a Philips Hue lighting system in place. And you can get cheaper alternatives than Philips Hue, but one thing I really liked was that it connected to your phone. And as you can see here on the phone, there are a few rooms that we've got set up. So Brett has Philips in his room. We've also got some in the downstairs and we also have some Philips Hue in my room. And basically what it does is with a click of a button, you can turn the lights on and you can also control the color of them, kind of the vibe of them, how bright they are. You will have seen if you have watched this video, or this channel before, that I did have some lighting in my last video and that's what I'm gonna share with you. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. So with a click of a button, the lighting comes on. So it just creates such a really good mood in here. I stick this on when I am working so that I don't have to put on my over, overhead lighting. And yeah, so it's just a strip that I have at the back of the calyx and I can make it do all sorts of different colors and different brightnesses and it just creates such a really nice vibe. So I'm now gonna show you what it looks like at night. I would just share with you um, what I have in my calyx. So we'll start with this box here. So here we just have my cutter, which is actually broken. So yeah, that's good. Uh, so I just have all my tools really here. So I have a box full of um, card, so glittery card, cards, like plain card and paper. And then we have in here just a box full of tools. These white, uh, these uh, clear boxes actually came from Ikea and they are really, really affordable and they are great for keeping bits and bobs in like this. And then we have my stamp, um, stamping tool. The next one is a little bit boring because it's just got computer stuff in, but I'll share it with you anyway. So we just have headphones and yeah just I tend to keep my mic and equipment for filming in this box and these are actually just made of cardboard um, but they are really really sturdy so they're they're really good for keeping anything in really um, and then they just have this little file holder thing moving up here we have all of my cards and envelopes for card making. And again, these are from Ikea. And the next one just has all of my die cuts in, which I keep in these little plastic wallets, which have a magnet board in them. And it just keeps everything in place. So moving along, we then have my um, Sizzix, which I invested in last year for card making. So if you don't know what a Sizzix is, it's basically where you take one of these little die, uh, die cuts and you stick it in the machine and it creates a shape 
on card or paper and it's really good for card making. So this just lives in the bottom here. Then moving on to the next box. We have a box just full of craft things. So we just have like ribbon and clips and just things like that. Just bits, of, bits and bobs. Um, I think every craft room has a bits and bobs box. Then moving along the bottom, we have some, I picked these up in Tesco. They were really, really cheap. So in this one, I just keep all of my die cuttings and things that I have made. So this is basically what the die cuts make. So if you use different cards and things, you just get to be able to create different things. I haven't been doing a lot of die cutting. I've been focusing on stitching, but they just live in this little box here. And I just bought some CD CD wallets to keep them all in. It is open pocket so they can fall out, but um, they just stay nice and safe in the box. And then we then have my cards that I've made. I haven't made these ones, but these ones I've made. Uh, so I just keep them in this little container here and just does a really nice job. Moving on to the next one, we have a tub full of grind guards that my mum's made so I just keep them all in this little pot and also some other protectors as well so they just live in this little box which my mum actually gave me as well and I think they're just from the pound shop and they were just a pound but they're great really really good and then we just have one of my frames and then in this box which is a Rendell design box we just have all of my craft like uh, cross stitching supplies. So we have some bags that my mum made me. Then we have another frame and some needles and needle minders. We just have lots of different things in there. So it's kind of just a box for everything cross stitch related. Then if we move on to the, this box, this box holds all of my fabric. So all of my fabric bundles, which I did share with you in one of my flushy videos. So I just bought a massive <laughs> fabric bundle and it just has some of my um, sewing machine stuff. So this was bought by Brett from Christmas. So it's just got Lots of little goodies in there for my sewing machine, which is really handy. And I just keep my zips and things like that. So this is more used for all of my fabrics and my sewing machine. And then if we select the next one, this one I am using for my cross stitching fabrics. I keep them all in these little plastic wallets and if it doesn't come with the details of it, I do actually just add in a little card which says what it is and where I bought it from. Most actually do come with little labels on and I also have some Swigart type which I bought from Hobbycraft so some actually do come with the labels but then most of the lakeside ones that I've bought before haven't come with any labels so this one I'm going to be using for Hello Petal. So I do have a bit of stash. I do want to grow it a little bit more. Um, so I am planning to buy some material pretty much once a month, a bit like a monthly subscription, but something that I just buy myself. Okay, so now we're on to the top bit. So this is all where I keep all my small craft projects. And I bought these from Amazon. They are really handy. They're super cheap, super affordable. I think you get five in a pack of different colors. And with having March Madness, I knew that I was gonna be creating lots of small projects. And so I just bought these little wallets and they are just brilliant. And so I keep them here just at the top and I also have my cross stitching towel. Then we have another white folder holder, which I'm keeping all of my cross stitching patterns that I haven't started yet. 
so I do have a few and I'm looking forward to starting them so I just keep all of my patterns that I haven't started in here as well so moving on to my threads I keep all my threads in these plastic boxes which I showed you before and they are really really handy so they're super affordable they were from the pound shop I think my mum actually gave these to me and they've come in really really handy so I keep all of my threads in floss away bags and I created these little just sections um, they're just paper or card and I used a little stamp to create the numbers at the top and so each section has one of these little cards and it just really helps me when trying to find the threads that I need and I just keep all of my threads in these floss away bags with just a little card and I just add the little number on the top and they're just in a numerical order and I currently have three of these boxes uh, at the moment I don't have a massive stash but it is growing so I do need to make a gentle arts one and a week style works one and yeah I find them really really handy and useful to have in these storage boxes um, I don't bobinate so I can't use the the really handy bobinate boxes so these fit really really well with them being long and yeah they just work, work really well the last bit that we just need to look at is this section and this section really has just some handy little things so I just have a box full of all of my favorite pens so I have all of my uh, pro markers my sharpies my chameleon pens and it's just really handy to have them all in this little tool because I can just put it on my craft desk and craft away and I also have some pens in there as well and I do also have my March Stitchy Madness prediction in there as well, which I'm really excited to show you in the next video. And then the last one is my stamping box. And this is what I used to make the thread dividers. So it's just a little stamping box, which I bought from Amazon, really, really cheap. Um, and you can create whatever you want with it. I create a lot of my cards with this and I just use some ink and yeah it just allows you to create words and make things personalized I suppose so everything in here is all stamp related and so they just live up here as well so that's it that is my craft room slash office it is one of them things that I've dreamt for for a long long time and it's nice to finally have this space to be creative and just display all of my pieces that maybe don't fit in the house or fit with the decor. I now have a space where I can um, be more selective with what I wanna stitch on. Yeah, I feel truly grateful to have this space that I, I have and I just can't wait to see kind of how it grows. Um, I am hoping to put some like stickers on things to make it a bit more uh, crafty but I've only really had this room for a couple of weeks so I do really want to see how I grow in it before I start customizing things I may change things up and add things to it um, when we can go back into the world there may be things that I pick up that replace things I don't know so yeah I'm really really excited to see kind of where I grow in this room but it's just a great space to work in. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like if you've liked it and subscribe if you are new here and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.